Hello, everyone. And today I'm going to read to you The Stinky Giant by Ellen Weiss and Mel Friedman, illustrated by Alicia Girasol. I hope I got that right. The Stinky Giant. A long time ago, a brother and sister lived in a beautiful valley. The sister's name was Pepper. The brother's name was Jake. They had a happy life. Every day they sang songs and watched their sheep. They only had one problem. The problem's name was Irk. Irk was a huge, mean giant. He was rude, he was ugly. When Irk burped, it sounded like thunder. When he sneezed, hoses blew away. Achoo! Irk lived in a castle. It was way, way, way up on top of the mountain. Every Thursday, Irk washed his clothes. Irk's clothes were very big. Irk's wash tub was very big too. Irk is a giant, so the clothes are very big. When he was done washing his clothes, Irk emptied his wash tub. The water came roaring down the mountain. It made a huge flood. Sometimes things were swept away. Sometimes some of Pepper and Jake's sheep were lost. This is a big problem. So Pepper and Jake had to walk way down the valley to get their sheep back. Pepper and Jake were tired of Irk and Irk's laundry. One day, Jake fell into a big puddle of Irk's dirty wash water. He came out all stinky. That's it, we're going to talk to Irk, said Jake. They looked up at Irk's castle. It would be hard to get there, but they knew they had to go. So they made some egg and salty pickle sandwiches. They filled a goatskin bag with water. And they set out to climb Irk's mountain. They climbed up, up, up. The higher they went, the colder it got. Their teeth chattered, their sweat froze. After a while, they got hungry. They stopped to eat their sandwiches. Their lunch made them thirsty, but the water in the goat skin was frozen solid. Uh oh. Finally, they arrived at the castle. They banged hard on the door. The door swung open. There, sitting at his table, was Irk. He was having a gigantic bowl of smelly soup. Well, said the giant, what do you want? We want you to stop flooding us with your dirty wash water, said Pepper. The giant's laughter boomed across the room. <laughs> but Jake and Pepper scowled at him so he would know how serious they were. Irk just kept laughing. Okay, Irk finally said, I have an idea. We giants have a secret riddle. No one has ever been able to answer it. If you can't answer the riddle, I will boil you for soup and I will throw your sheep in too. If you can answer it, I lose. I will move away. Where will you move to, asked Pepper. You can pick because I won't lose, said Irk. Jake pointed to the map. Here, he said. They shook on it. Irk gave them the riddle. There is something you see every day, and it is one thing, but also three things. I will give you three days to come up with the answer, shouted the giant. Now go home. There is something you see every day, and it is one thing, but also three things. Pepper and Jake went down, down, down the mountain. Look, said Pepper, the ice in, this, in the bag has turned back to water. Jake was so thirsty, he drank half the water. Glug, 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 glug. When they finally got home, they started thinking about the riddle. What could be one thing but three things? 
they only had three days or they would be jack and pepper and sheep soup. What about a fish, Pepper said. First it's an egg, then it's a fish. And that's all, said Jake, two things. On the second day, Jake had an idea. Peanut butter, he said. It's crunchy or it's creamy. And that's all, said Pepper. Then she said, what about a book? It's open or it's closed. But that was only two things. After that, they were so tired, they had to go to sleep, but they went to bed scared. If they didn't come up with an answer tomorrow, they would be soup. On the third morning, Jake and Pepper were really worried. Today, they had to go back to Urk and they still had no answer. Let's have some dandelion tea, said Pepper. It will help us think. So Jake put the water in the kettle and put the kettle on to boil. Pepper decided she would have some iced tea. Soon the water was boiling. The kettle whistled. The steam came jetting out the spout. Jake and Pepper looked at the steam. They looked at Pepper's ice. Then they looked at each other. Water, they said together. Do you know what the three things are? Water, like the stuff they used to make the tea. Water, like the ice in Pepper's glass. And water, like the steam coming out of the kettle. They raced back up the mountain. They didn't even care that the water in their goatskin bag was turning to ice. And they didn't even care about Irk's steamy, stinky wash water. They had won. We figured it out, said Pepper. It's water, said Jake. Steam, ice, and liquid, but all water. What will the giant say? What will Irk say? Irk turned red. Then he turned purple. No, he shouted. You couldn't have figured that out. Nobody figures it out but they had, and a deal was a deal. Urk would have to move to the horrible land of Hui, and he would have to wash his clothes in the great smelly swamp. Urk hated it, but a deal was a deal. He left the very next day, but the horrible land for the horrible land of Hui, but he left his dirty socks behind. Okay. Did you figure out the riddle before the end of the book? What is one thing, but also three things? Anyways, I hope you like the book. That was The Stinky Giant. And if you want, you can borrow it from my library, or you can keep watching me read books on video. If you liked the story, give it a like, and you can subscribe if you really liked it. I'll see you next time, class.